Hello everybody, welcome. I am so excited for today's tutorial. We're gonna switch it up. We've been doing a lot of Christmas, but um, as designers, we are about ready to move on to the next holidays. So we are gonna be doing a fun uh, Mardi Gras swag today, okay? So let me um, show you what we're gonna do first. I have just taken a, uh, I think this was a 30 inch swag pine base and I've layered it. I'm layering it on top with our Mardi Gras um, swag base. I don't know if we have any of these large ones still in stock. Um, I know we have some of the shorter ones, so you can always um, downsize and do a more like a 24 inch. Um, I'm just gonna take and zip tie the two of these together, and then we'll start kind of intertwining the branches. And again, this is optional. If you just want to use one, you can definitely just use one. Uh, but I like the fullness of mine. So I like to go in with usually two swags, unless it's a really, really thick swag, um, then I'll just use one. And of course, the thicker the swags, you know, the more expensive they're gonna be. So if you've got a really nice one, you can usually just get away with one. I tend to just get the more inexpensive one and then layer them. I will do my best to keep you guys in view, but this is gonna be a large design. Um, when we get towards more of the end of the design, we'll hang it up and then you'll kind of be able to see it a little bit better. Um, but I, I typically design on the table for the most part. So we're gonna do most of that on the table and then we'll hang it up um, towards the end. So y'all bear with me on the view. We'll kind of switch between an overhead and a front facing. So I'm just going to take and intertwine some of these pine branches in here so it doesn't look like the one is just sitting right on top of the other one. Even though it is, we're going to blend it, make, make it look like it's all intertwined. Okay, so I'm just pulling in some of these greens. And this Mardi Gras swag is really going to do a lot of the work for us with these tinsels. So this will be a little bit more, of course, most of my designs are more over the top, um, scale up or scale down, however you see fit. Okay. So we've got our, got our base. And the first thing I think we're gonna do is get our ribbon on. So I'm gonna flip you guys down and let's get our bow. So I'm gonna go in with a four inch, a two and a half, and a one inch. So we're gonna make big bow today with our nice big Mardi Gras ribbon. I want a fairly long tail because I think we're gonna roller coaster this one. Let me get my bow maker out here. And I am going to go, let me move this out of the way so I can switch the, get the bow in here. I want my first loops pretty big. So I'm going to go about eight. Now let's go about nine inches. I'm going to take that back. I'm going to go about 10 inches. We go about 10 inches with our four inch. Pull this one out just a hair. One side of the bow maker goes to 12 inches and the other side only goes to eight inches. So they kind of got a kind of got a guess there. And I'm gonna leave this um, second tail a little bit long and we can cut it down 
once we figure out exactly how we want it. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our two and a half. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna create the tail up. We'll go about nine inches. this ribbon I have left. I don't have enough to make a loop, so we're just going to do a tail in here. I'll have to take that tape off in a minute when I can both my hands. So I'm going to leave that one long. Well, not quite that long. We'll leave it about as long as the second ribbon we added. We can cut them down if we need to. And this one will be at about seven and a half inches, a little bit short. I think we'll do four loops. We're gonna have a nice big bow on this one. Okay. Okay, let me get my uh, zip tie. Use zip tie pipe cleaner whatever you prefer. When I have these big bows like this, I like the zip tie because it helps it hold it together better for me. I'm using just like a one ribbon, and a lot of times I'll just use the pipe cleaner. Okay, now I will get my pipe cleaner to go through the back. I don't want to get this added more towards the top of our design. Let's get our four inch. And I want to roller coaster this one down. So I'm gonna leave a nice big loop. This one I think we're just going to leave out, so we'll cut it shorter. So we're just going to loop the we're just going to loop the four inch. So I'm going to twist it off with some of my pine branches there. This one I'm just going to cut and fold under. This one, I'll give a dovetail. Okay, and our side ribbons over here. I think I'm gonna wait on cutting those until we get our other elements added. 
and then that will help us determine exactly um, the size we need. This bottom ribbon down here, I'm just going to cut at a dovetail. Okay. Now let's go in and let's anchor our loops with a few of these um, little picks that we have. So these make good little anchors. So instead of anchoring with our green, greenery, like we do in a lot of the videos that I do, I'm going to go in and anchor with some of these little picks. So I'm just going to lift up my loops. We're going to get a couple of these added. Of north, south, east, west. I'm going to fill this bow out. We're going to use a lot of these. I use a lot of these um, because they make good fillers. But use as much or as little as you want, of course, depending on your budget. If you guys hear some noise out there, I apologize. We had a water leak and the county is out here trying to fix our, fix our water. And of course they show up right when I get ready to record. So it is what it is. gone under the bottom loops. Now I go in sort of in the middle and use these ties to kind of break up. See that? Just to kind of give some separation between the left the two loops, get it where you guys can see it. See, I just added that one right next to it and it got some tinsel in between these two loops now. So again, I'm going right in there and creating some tinsel. In there and we may add some more in here but let's let's work on some other things first okay I brought in our purple jewels I'm not sure if I want to add them so we're gonna look and I'm gonna this hole right here I'm gonna take and put it through this tinsel And then twist it off with another tinsel in there. Okay, so we have that one. I'll add a little bit of glue. And then our other one. Trying to decide if I want it up here. I also have a little purple, where did I do with it? I have a little purple jewel that maybe we could put right here. If I had a corner of that one there. Okay, let's do it. So again, I'm gonna take and weave that pipe or that pine branch or the tinsel. That one, I just used the pine branch because it was right there, but. Okay, so I have you guys up on the easel. Let's go in with these 
we'll weep, spray. Set. And the center there. Okay, let's get another one. And I'm going to go to the right and to the left. Just gonna go pick some sprays. I'm not gonna glue this in yet. I'm just gonna kind of place it. Okay, I think we are. Take one of your pine branches or tinsel ties and just wrap around that. Uh, so that and the glue will hold it in. Cut this one down just a little bit more. this off real quick so I can wrap that stem around there. So let's go ahead and cut well now let's finish let's finish our sprays. So I have a tendency to cut too short. And then I get my sprays on there and I'm wishing I would have had um had them longer. Okay. I brought in these little glittery ornaments too. I'm trying to see if I want to use them since we have the poinsettias and we have our jewels. much. So I'm adding this one kind of right up on that side, right underneath that gem. And we're going to add this one right next to our bow up there. leaves. Let's get those added. I cut the stem on this one down.
that ornament. I have a leaf that fell off of that other one, so we'll just get it added. the same thing that I did on that outside here. I'm going to do on the outside here. So I'm going to finish that up and then we'll be back. Okay. So I've gone all the way around both sides. I still have two pieces left. So I'm going to save them after we get done adding the rest of our elements if we need them. But oh, we can. Uh, now I have these fun little ornament ball clusters. So I think we're going to take one of these little balls. And create our little button. I think we're just going to take these apart and just add them where we want them instead of keeping it as a cluster. I also have um, some of these glitter sprays we're probably going to add. I want to get a couple of these added like in the center here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was hot. Be careful. So we're going to put one right there. So I'm just kind of looking for places where I can see my green pine. Or we need a little filler. right there. I'm throwing my glitter balls everywhere. Maybe let's do one right there so we've got a little triangle pattern of them. Right up under here. I'm going to go in with another one. We'll probably just use two of these. We may not even use all of it. So if you wanted to just space them out, you could get away with one. But I'm going to go right up in the center, right above that, right above that jewel. Because we don't want to forget about the center here. That is looking lovely. Let's stop that right there. Maybe, maybe we'll add one more at the bottom. Okay. We'll save these for the end because I want to get our um, little glitter sprays added. So I'm just going to pull these apart. I say pull, I'm going to cut them because these ones are a little thicker. I'm basically going to do the same thing that I did with our leaves. I'm going to go all the way around the outside and then we'll come back and if we have some 
um, in, for the inside, if we need to spot, we can. So I'll do, just do a couple of these and then I'll speed this part up. So you guys don't have to watch all of this, but I'm just gonna alternate the colors. go all the way up and then all the way down the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll be back. Okay, so we've got a couple pieces left. Let's add them around the bow. I went all the way around. I went all the way around the outside. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and cut these tails. Just going to cut that at a diagonal. This one I will cut straight because it's the pencil ribbon, so I need to fold it. in um, some of these little tinsel sprays that we use to anchor our bow. We're going to bring those in as filler. So we're just going to fill in some spots where we might see the pine. I think this one I want some up here in my bow. And I'm just going to take in Position those where I want it. I get another one on that side. Let me just hit that with a little bit of glue, make sure it's in there good. Now I'm going to take and just go and look for some spots where maybe we see a little bit of pine or needs a little bit of filler. So like right in here. Just move the little pencil where you want them. I think we're going to go right in here, kind of balance that out. Move those tinsels where you want them. do that I'm just going to take and um, stand back and look where I might need a few more of these little tinsels. I'm going to get those added and then we will be back. Okay I think we have enough of the little tinsel sprays. I think it's filled in pretty good um, unless I go when I go to take pictures if I see anything. I'm going to add a couple of these little ornament balls that I have left. Um, But unless I see a hole when I'm taking pictures, I think we're pretty good. That one right 
there. We're gonna make use of this spray since we need some of it. I tuck that one in right there. One green one left. guys. I think we're done. So here is our beautiful uh, Mardi Gras swag. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you are new to our channel, we would love to have you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell and you'll be notified every time we have new tutorials. We love to do swags, reads, centerpieces, floral arrangements, all the things, um, lots of seasonal decor. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, until next time, bye y'all.